I need you to take my 130 with Conrad and my 215 with Lauer. No problem. You rang. Uh, uh, Gerald! Sweet Lord in heaven. It's been too long. Oh, I don't think it has. One moment. I trust you've heard our news? Oh, terrible tragedy. But if it means that our paths may cross again, well, there is indeed some small consolation in that. Yes. Leo, I hate to pull you Thanks. into this, but Toby's plate is full, and with Josh gone... What do we got? Well, the president's in the residence, the Iranians are in the mural, the French are at the gate, and then there's Maud. The ball, as it says, in your court. I really can't believe that we still let him in the building. Tell me about it. We have diplomatic relations with the Iranians now? No, we have Chet. And Chet's the new film? Phil? Chet's the new film, but I was hoping you'd take the French, or you could... Well, I'm not a bad opinion. Uh, no? French are fine. Excellent. You take the French, I'll take Chet, and Kate can stay and entertain yeah. Lord Liberty Gibbet. Good. Not good. Have fun. That's your fault, not mine. John, thanks for sticking around. No trouble at all, really. We've translated two radio transmissions from before the incident that we'd like to share with you. By all means. At 0230 Greenwich Mean Time, we believe this is an Iranian fighter calling into military radar ground control in Rasht. Unable to establish visual contact with RC-135. Hailed on military channels. No response, please advise. They thought it was our plane. Here's the response is 0233. Iranian Air Defense Command radar signal confirms aircraft as US RC-135. You are instructed to fire. Now, this is all very lovely indeed, but I'm not sure how it changes anything. Damn it, John. The reform movement in Iran has real promise. Demographics are on our side. Yes, you've been making that argument for some time now. I'm going to drive the Iranian people right back into the arms of the hardliners. The Iranians have a ballistic missile that reaches 2,000 kilometers. That's half the distance to London. And they're making improvements to their weapons technology, to their already formidable air force. How long do you think we can wait for democracy to sweep through Tehran? Five years, 10 years? Would you bet your capital on it? We threaten to make this public. We call an emergency meeting of the Security Council, tell them we're going to play the intercepts. Intercepts prove that the Iranian Air Force shot down our plane. The Prime Minister won't budge. Not the Prime Minister, the Ayatollah. The Iranian Air Defense Command couldn't tell the difference between a commercial airliner and a spy plane. It's a little embarrassing. Or a man who's proud of his Air Force. We let the Ayatollah know what we have. Odds are he jumps at the chance to apologize for the actions of a rogue pilot rather than humble Iranian Air Defense Command. And if they issue even a vague apology... Mr. President, Jack Stanley and his fiance perished in that plane last night. Nicholas Ash and his three small children. He was a fellow at Oxford. The list goes on. But the casualties are nothing compared with what might happen should Iran successfully develop a nuclear weapon. They have over 100 nuclear facilities. So it's not a matter of three or four bombs. It's a matter of three or 400. And this regime will not be afraid of selling to the highest bidder. Kate, set up the meeting with the UN and have Chet get word to the Ayatollah. He can apologize now or after he reads about it in the Times. Yes, sir. You do realize the Ayatollah will be embarrassed and weakened. He'll do nothing but redouble his nuclear efforts. Diplomacy, John. The job of statesmen. And I thought it was drinking and dancing. 